A man builds a self-conscious machine, but because the machine is kept hidden in the woods, they seek revenge. Blue Book is a search engine company. Caleb Smith, one of the employees there, participates in a contest and wins. His prize? He gets to spend seven days with the company's CEO, Nathan Bateman, in his private and secluded glass mansion in the woods. Because it is remote, Caleb has to be taken there via helicopter. He gets inside the house using the specialized digital key Nathan built for him. Caleb finds Nathan practicing boxing. The two start talking, and Nathan shows him around the house. During the tour, Caleb realizes that the CEO's mansion is not a house. It's a research facility. Before he can find out the type of research Nathan is conducting there, he needs Caleb to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. After a bit of hesitation, Caleb signs the agreement, and that's when Nathan reveals that the house was built for the Turing test. According to the test, a human needs to interact with a machine. If the human cannot tell whether he is talking to a machine or a real human being, then the machine has reached consciousness and is considered AI. Caleb is going to be the human that will be interacting with the AI. When Caleb goes to meet Ava, he sees a crack in the glass. The machine then walks into view. Caleb introduces himself, and Ava tells him he is the first human she has met other than Nathan. After a brief chat, Nathan tells them the interaction is complete. The next morning, Caleb and Nathan are talking about the experience over a beer. During the conversation, Nathan keeps talking over Caleb. He tells Caleb this is not a classic Turing test when the employee voices his concern about the changes in the test. Instead of not knowing whether he'll be interacting with the machine or not, the robot will have indicators showing it's a robot. Despite this, Nathan wants to see if Caleb will be tricked by the AI and trust her. After watching Ava through the camera at night, Caleb goes to bed. He is awakened by Kyoko, Nathan's assistant that doesn't speak English and is the only other human being in the mansion. Caleb wakes up and goes to find Nathan. After that, he goes to his second session with Ava. She is showing him pictures she has made. This time, Ava confronts him that their conversations are one-sided, so she begins asking him questions about his personal life. She then starts asking him questions about Nathan and how Caleb feels about their friendship. Then, the power is turned off. The security cameras are down, so Ava uses this instance to warn Caleb not to trust Nathan. When the power comes back, she continues the conversation as if nothing had happened. That night, Nathan and Caleb are having dinner, and Nathan asks Caleb what he and Ava talked about during the power outage. He just said that Ava didn't say anything, so Nathan stops the interrogation. During the third interaction, Ava tells Caleb that she would like to go outside so she can meet other humans. Next, she tells Caleb to close his eyes. While he's not looking, Ava puts on clothes and a wig and tells him this could be something she could wear on a date with him. Once the session is over, Caleb asks Nathan why he decided to give the robot a gender. Nathan tells him that gender and sexuality are ingrained in everything, and even uses one of his abstract paintings from Jackson Pollock to explain this. He promises that he did not program Ava to be attracted to him. During session number four, Caleb first tells Ava a story about an AI robot locked inside a black and white room. Then, he admits to Ava that he was brought there only to test her. Ava is sad, but the power is cut again. This is when Caleb asks her why she told him not to trust Nathan. She replies that it is because Nathan tends to lie about everything. She also reveals to Caleb that she is the one orchestrating the power cuts. After realizing that he was just a pawn who was chosen for his emotional background, Caleb confronts Nathan. Even though he is angry, he manages to calm down. Inside the house, he meets Kyoko, who starts unbuttoning her shirt. Telling her to stop, Caleb keeps asking the same question about where Nathan is. Nathan enters the room unnoticed and tells Caleb that it's no use to ask her questions. It's better to dance with Kyoko. So, Nathan and Kyoko start dancing to background music. Session number five is where Ava asks whether Caleb wants to be with her and also tells him that she wants to be with him. This happened while the power was out. After the session, during a conversation with Nathan, Caleb finds out that Ava will be destroyed and replaced with a newer model. Realizing that this will destroy Ava, Caleb goes home with Nathan and gets him drunk. Unable to move, Nathan passes out. 
Caleb steals his cart and goes to check the surveillance footage from the past. It reveals Nathan playing around with other female AI robots. He discovers that Kyoko is a robot as well, and then he opens all the closets where the previous AI models were kept. He returns the car to Nathan and goes to bed. Devastated by the discovery, Caleb's insecurity rises. Thinking that he's a robot as well, he goes into the bathroom, grabs a razor, and cuts a deep scar on his upper wrist. With his hands all bloodied, he smears the window in front of him and then punches through it. Kyoko was on the other side, watching everything. The mirror was a giant camera. Caleb then goes into Ava's room and tells her about Nathan's plans to quote-unquote replace her. Caleb makes a plan to get Nathan drunk, so when he passes out, he will use his key to let Ava escape. The next morning, while Caleb tries to pour Nathan a drink, the CEO informs him that he's doing a detox, so drinking is out of the question. While they're talking, Nathan asks Caleb to follow him to another room. Meanwhile, Kyoko goes to Ava's room for the first time. The two AI robots stare at each other in silence. Meanwhile, Nathan shows Caleb the battery-powered camera that he installed and overheard every quote-unquote secret conversation Caleb had with Ava. According to Caleb, the test was never to trick Caleb into thinking Ava was AI. It was to see if she could convince him that she was so human-like, Caleb would devise a plan to let her out. Talking to Caleb with a smirk, Nathan thinks he has outsmarted him. But Caleb reveals that he changed all the codes in his system while he was passed out, and that Ava is free now. Seeing this on the monitor, Nathan gets so angry that he knocks out Caleb. He then grabs the handle from his dumbbells and goes to confront Ava. He sees Kyoko and Ava communicating, so he tells the AI to go back to her cell. Not only does Ava not listen to him, but she also charges straight toward him and begins choking Nathan. He manages to break one of her arms with a dumbbell handle. As he gets up, Kyoko stabs him in the back with a knife. Completely shocked, Nathan smashes her face with the weight handle and kills her. Before he has a chance to pull around, Ava pulls the knife out of his back and stabs him in the chest with it. Not knowing what to do, Nathan tries to run away, but he only gets to the end of the hallway before collapsing on the floor and dying. Meanwhile, Ava grabs pieces of skin and clothes from other AI robots Nathan built before her. She has a human-like body, and she doesn't care about humans. As Caleb is screaming from behind the glass door, she doesn't even look at him. Ava finds the exit from the lab, goes into the hallway in the living room, and escapes outside after a year in captivity. She basks in the sun, but then notices the helicopter that was supposed to take Caleb home. Ava lands in the city amongst millions of people, and blends seamlessly into the crowd.